Hello there everyone, welcome back to the Legacy P7, and here we are today with our Minecraft Pretty Scary Update 1.4. This month, October 2012, on the 25th of October, we noticed that Minecraft was updated to 1.4 with our Pretty Scary Update. It had 8 major updates, 4 pretty and 4 scary ones. This video is going to cover every single one of those and basically give you an overview of what each one does. Uh, there's beacons, carrots on sticks, frames, flower pots, potatoes, carrots, pumpkin pies, anvils, uh, and in the scary section we have a new boss which is the wither boss, wither skeletons, zombie infections, bats and witches, and monsters are smarter and stronger. So guys, this is going to be quite an awesome video, something which is quite new and a great way to get back into our channel. So we're going to start off and this is the new dyes system. Um, so as you can see with our all the dyes which we have there, um, put it, you can generally put them anywhere in the crafting square and it will just dye them for you. Um, and you can put those on and look all, look all fancy and you and your new pink top and your, and your yellow boots, yeah. Look at looking fancy, looking quite fancy. And you can actually see a golden helm there in the, the new item plate. And if you're wondering what what that is around it, which looks like a fence, cobblestone. Well, it's actually the new walls. Um, but first, I'm going to show you the item frame, which which I've put it, put a hat in there, put a golden hat in, um, which is actually orange apparently, but. But whatever, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? You know. Uh, so you can just stick up the item frames, and uh, you can stick in an item which you want. Uh, right click, and then uh, right click actually rotates it, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you if you want an upside down hat on your wall, I don't know. Some people like that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you get six cobblestone, I accidentally had further, and lay them out. Uh, like so, you actually get six cobblestone wall, which is really cool. I like this. It's it's like adding something new to fences. It's not the normal, uh, uh yeah, fence. Uh. So yeah, that's something different, something new. And now here, uh, I'm just gonna make a fishing rod. Here, uh, we'll, we'll get to it soon. We'll get to it soon. Um, and if we make this fishing rod, we're going to. See, see those pigs, they just want us to get on them. Yeah, you know. Uh, but but these are actually the new potatoes and carrots. And uh, how cool are those? How cool are those, guys? Like, you just plant them like any anything else. And potatoes as well. Potatoes! Whatever, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like, there's potatoes, there's carrots there in the ground. Plant them. Do whatever. Who cares? Um, and you can actually, if you get some golden nuggets, guys, you can actually uh, craft a carrot and some golden nuggets if you're feeling rich and generous to uh, stick those together. Get a golden carrot, yeah. You've got to love golden carrots, man. Uh, and I do think that carrots actually heal three uh, hunger, hunger chicken wings, whatever you want to call those hunger things. Uh, and if you actually put an awkward potion, which is the starting point of a potion, which is nether wart and uh, water bottle, uh, and you put in a golden golden carrot with that, uh, it starts brewing. And here we have plant pots, which you can stick in your lovely roses, and you just craft them with three bricks like so. Stick down your flower pot and stick whatever you want in it. I don't care. Carrot, maybe. I don't, I'm, that's actually a good idea. Can you actually do that with carrots? Uh, but you also get a potion of night vision if you... Uh, uh, cooking the golden carrot up uh, in that awkward portion, and it, as you can see, voila, we we can see in uh, the dark, which is, which is really quite helpful. And you can also uh, have a very very clear view of the water, so it doesn't actually work when you're in it, which I kind of figured out here, uh, which is <laughs> pretty bad, but whatever. Uh, but you can really actually see through the water, which is really helpful uh, if you're looking for something or whatever. And you, and as you can see, it, it generally looks like day. Uh, so you get three minutes of night potion that sheep is in the way. Of, uh, you know, you know sheep nowadays. Sheep, man. <sighs> right. So uh, there you have it. Night vision potions, carrots, potatoes. Who cares? Whatever you want to do with them. And then you, then you can just throw your bottles away. 
Uh, and now, after a fancy transition, if we grab our carrot and the fishing rod we fancily prepared earlier, and put them like so, we get a carrot on a stick. I mean, you've got to love a carrot on a stick, man. And yeah, we don't want that golden carrot anymore. Uh, and who... And, and now I, I kind of realise that, that my pig needs to saddle on it, but oh well. And then I, I keep on pressing W instead of E. So, you know, you know typos that keyboard, you know. Uh, but uh, you can actually get on your uh, pig, and if you have a carrot on a stick, you can control it. So you can control it just like you, uh, just like you. Oh God, I'm, I'm getting surrounded by pigs, guys. Run, <laughs> run. Uh, but the, all the other pigs actually follow your carrot on a stick, which is kind of awesome. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. You can you can lead lead the pigs around on your, on your magical pig 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 pink pink carmobile pig. Yes, and then you can actually beat him to death with with the carrot, <laughs> which is kind of cool as well. Like you're always gonna want to oh, there. Yeah, run, run. Yes. So that's that's kind of cool up there. And if we head over here uh, to our magically created house, as you can see, uh, and we grab some pumpkins, and some sugar, and some eggs, and put those raw pork chops in there for later, uh, we can actually craft pumpkin pies now. Uh, if you do this like so, and you can get a pumpkin pie, which is kind of cool if you have some excess pumpkins and you can actually do something with pumpkins other than make them all look fancy for Halloween. Halloween, guys, if you didn't notice. Halloween, you know, coming up. Um, 2012. What are you guys doing for Halloween? But here we have another major update, uh, guys. These are the anvils, which are totally awesome. You can name and repair your swords or whatever. Uh, so if we call this one... See, see, there's a W again. What, where do you come from? Yield awesome, uh, which is going to cost us seven XP. And then if we put in our iron pickaxe, and I'll call that uh, ye, no, ye W, ye oldy pickaxe. Gotta love that man. And there you have it. You've you've basically named your named your swords, and you can do that however you want, uh, and it will just charge you out of your experience. Which is kind of cool because there's actually something. There's not an awful lot you can do with experience at the moment. I mean, it's there, but it's not not very useful. Uh, and now, if I have, as you can see, I've been mining with my pickaxe. It's meant to be dirt. Uh, but if you actually put these two pickaxes together, then you actually get enough uh, experience, which I don't have at the moment. Oh well. Uh, maybe that pig will provide it in as much, but I don't know. It's only a pig. It's like. Useless pig. There, die pig. There, there we go. Uh, but if you actually go back over here and you do have enough experience, which fears I don't have, uh, yeah, no. Oh well, I'll just rage and throw, throw them in the fire. Uh, wait, did I just throw my yieldy pickaxe in, in the. Oh god, no. Ah! Bollocks. Oh, well. Oh well. Uh, but our next update, guys, is one of a beacon. Uh, if you make with three obsidian, five glass, and one nether star, which I will show you guys how to get hold of later, you can actually make a beacon, and you can put it on top of triangles of of, uh, of blocks of different sorts, uh, and this basically allows you to level up and and uh, give yourself some enchantments if you sacrifice your your fancy gems there. And each gem actually allows you to. Uh, uh, that they can see haste. Uh, it'll actually only say eight seconds, which I'm not sure is a glitch, but the but it will just reset. Uh, like em I think emeralds last for the longest, emerald or diamond. Um, and as you can see, the higher powerful ones unlock more, which I can do. And uh, it will actually say eight seconds, but it will last for longer. Don't worry, guys. Uh, that that all depends on how high you put in. Uh, there, if you have the strength, as you can see, and uh, if you go over here. It unlocks the regeneration, which is the, the most fancy one. Put in some iron there. Which I think that's the worst. But I have to just select another one and then jump boost. And then, as you can see, a big jump boost there, guys. Huge iron. Usually jump. Jump, jump. And then I kind of uh, knocked off Owen's. Uh, 
his uh, his wolves into the water. Oh well. Uh, yeah, but thank you to him for actually setting all this up, the beacons and stuff. Cause uh, I was too busy setting up my my pumpkins and, and my cookery. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's a, that's a really cool update. It's it's actually giving you something to do with your uh, XP instead of just the usual rubbish. And here we have witches and bats, which are brand new mobs to the game, alongside the new bosses. And uh, if I spawn some bats, as you can see, cool bats, huh? These actually spawn in natural caverns. I think it's with a light which is lower than 10, and uh, they're pretty weak. An arrow can take each one down. I'm pretty sure a hit probably could anywhere. Uh, so this is some good target practice. <laughs> uh, well needed, but. Uh, there you go. So those are quite a cool update. A new flying mob, which they did say they were going to introduce a while ago, which they never did. And these are actually the witches, um, which actually do throw portions of splash portions of poison, which is not the best considering they almost kill themselves. And they have a ton load of drops which they can drop, uh, completely random each time, which is really awesome because it's giving you a hand, giving you a chance to get your hands on something new and uh, some something cool. Uh, and he almost killed me with- oh, there we go. Uh, so they are actually pretty tough guys. The men look like villagers. Uh, and here we have the boss, the wither boss. If you place a T-shape of soul sand and then place three uh, wither skulls upon the top, which are actually only achievable via killing the wither, which means- but it doesn't that really spawn, you see, so you have to kind of do that with- uh, creative at the moment but I'm sure that we'll see something useful uh, happen of that in the later updates and as you can see it generally wrecks the area guys it just throws down literally blocks which are as strong as TNT which look like it's skulls it has uh, three heads and is extremely strong after you get also to a certain level of health on it uh, arrows stop taking effect and just bounce back at you and it actually starts healing its health again which is not awesome but uh, he's really tough guys and uh, you actually this is the way you get the nether star which I'm going to show you later um, which is awesome because that's the only way you can get hold of it at the moment and which I think is pretty good because if you want these totally awesome updates uh, you're gonna have to use that and as you can see here is where the arrows are just completely reflecting off him and he's healing if you look at his health bar up at the top he's healing very fast and uh, that's that's not good so I kind of try and run over to him and uh, slice him down with my sword, but it doesn't it doesn't really work too well. Uh, oh well. Uh, and he, I'm literally just about death there, and I quickly make it onto creative mode before he uh, kills me. And if I head over here with my sword and uh, just finish him off, um, as you can see, he actually dropped the nether star, which you, I don't think you saw there, but it popped up in the inventory, and there you have it. That is the nether star, guys, and that is how to get it. Uh, so yeah, what an awesome array of updates this this has brought to us, guys, because, I mean, there's just so much now. There's just so much stuff in Minecraft, and it's... I mean, from from the game I started playing, I, I remember saying a while ago when I, when I first got Minecraft, and I, uh, I saw this video, and it was Minecraft Alpha, and then I saw another video, which was Minecraft Beta, and uh, I thought, oh, Alpha looks cool, but I don't want Beta. And so, uh, I was like, oh, I want Minecraft Alpha, and I was like, oh, I didn't realize that this was the update. I was so dumb, guys. I was so dumb. Oh, well. But, I mean, it is, it's generally a really evolved game now. It's very changed from when Notch was, uh, in charge, and, uh, that's quite awesome. But, yeah, a, a, a totally awesome, pretty scary update, guys, for Halloween, and, uh, that's a great way to kick off the channel, I think, and it's a great to be back on YouTube, guys. So, uh, thank you all. Uh, remember to say s subscribe, comment with what you want to see next. What do, what do you want us guys to do? We're going to leave it up to you guys. And uh, remember to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, because it helps us out a load. Uh, so, yeah, guys, see you later.